pretty much. It's like, it's like. No limit in the sky that I won't fly for you. Post-workout margaritas and cocktails. We are the most fun fitness influencers you'll ever see in your life. Cheers, brother. There we go, man. Worth every penny. Well, we're gonna chill here for a little bit, jump in the pool, and then we're going to this place called Cove Beach. It's a pool party, it should be a bit of fun. Follow today, it's a back relax. Welcome to today's day. My name's Rob Lipson. <laughs> it's actually like two more jacked versions of me and featuring Chessie Mike. This is my birthday weekend, so. I'm gonna try the fitness, but no. I don't know. We went to the gym this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't even lie. <laughs> Fitness channel in the game. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I make the difference. Mike's is okay. He's only got like nearly a million subs or some shit. That was a fruity cocktail, my man. <laughs> So this is our setup for today. It's called Cove Beach and Inside Lifestyle completely sorted us out. So this is our little like grotto. Like I think the only word to describe it is grotto. Mike's got a big filthy smile on her. He's like, eh. It's like the Playboy Mansion grotto like. The den. It is the den. So um, <laughs> so we're gonna get some drinks, get some sun, get our tan on, chill for today. We're gonna ask these girls, does being in shape and lifting weights, does that get you girls? When you see a guy with a good body, does that make a difference? Be honest. <laughs> be honest. He needs to be fit, but not like too much. Okay. Yeah. Are we too big or are we okay? No, you're okay. Yeah, okay. But some guys are like half here and then no legs. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that is yeah, not yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah. problem. Rule number one, hit leg day. So what about your friend? The question is, does lifting weights get you girls? This is a meaningful video. So there you go, guys. Work out your mind. <laughs> Be intelligent. Go on holiday, start talking to random girls. Yeah. And, you know, things are probably gonna work out for you. Being in shape, you know, it helps, it helps, but it's all about what's going on in today's mind, okay? Your fucking drinks help as well, like. <laughs> like, seriously? What the hell? That's the goal right there. Dubai is just next level for cars. Tomorrow, though, for my birthday, we're having a, just a big day. And so we're starting the day off. Wait, we're going driving some supercars in the desert. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. That's going to be, it's going to be a huge one. So starting off the day the right way by getting a suit tailored, like, could I ask for more? Getting a suit now, then hitting some delts with the fellas later. It's going to be a good day. So anyways, welcome to today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up and uh, let's get into it. This was the last job I worked before I quit YouTube. Sorry. This was the last job I worked before I got fired and went full-time with YouTube. Um, it was a watch station over there. I was just a cashier. You know, like, I, I appreciate a good watch, but, like, it wouldn't be a passion of mine. And so I was really unenthusiastic, and therefore I got fired. And it was actually great, because that's what gave me a push to go out and do, you know, things on my own way. So it's crazy. We're just, like, I didn't even realise it, and we just walked by. And so, yeah. Good feels, good feels. Good feels, bro. Good feels, man. I remember they'd come over and they'd be like, so sell me this watch, tell me about it. I'd be like, so that one um, tells the time and it also has the date on it. <laughs> they'd be like, wow, amazing. So we're just getting a few bits and pieces and then uh, we got gym later, of course, go over a couple of topics, just have a fun day. Now he's probably training right now. Now usually I start my vlogs in the morning, it's always bright out, I'm full of energy and full of coffee, but today it's actually the end of the day, it's coming up to like 8 o'clock or something, it's dark out but the show must go on, and we've got a special guest, I think he's about to walk in the door now, so we'll go meet him, it's Mr. Lex Griffin, he is over here doing like MMA and stuff like that at the moment with SPG, 
of course, you know, I do that the odd time myself. So it's going to be great to link up with him and we're just going to hit like kind of a pump session. So Lex is obviously training MMA at the moment and YouTube, you know, boxing, YouTube fighting in general, it's huge. So like imagine, imagine if the two of us would have a fight, you know, Lex has so much more experience, but I'd happily get knocked the fuck out for no. views. <laughs> <laughs> would get knocked out for views. Yeah, definitely Lex has more experience than me, but you know, I'm, I'm cool getting in the, in the octagon, like I'm down for it. But today though, no fights <laughs> today. today. No fights today, okay, right, we're just gonna try. So enjoy the video that you're about to see, and then we're gonna finish it with a little chat. Yeah, we're doing a little chat, chat at the end, and we'll catch me and Rob next time, maybe not in a gym environment, but in a colonial environment. Fucking Rob, this is hard as shit. Yo, come on, man, stop being a bitch. Let's go. Easy. Yeah. Feel that in the core so yeah. much. Yeah. Yo, come here. Gabe, okay, you stay right there. Now we're about <laughs> equal. <laughs> turn in four, four, five, now turn out. Yeah, there you go, two. Three. Oh. That's five. That's oh. the group. Yeah. There. Yeah, keep this back head up. Uh. <sighs> so after this, we'll go on some rear out stuff. So like face pulls, yeah. rear out flies. That'll be good for you guys. And then we'll pull up with some arms. Yeah. All good. Easy. Easy money. Easy money, baby. Light work. Light work. <laughs> <laughs> Always, every day is light work. It's too easy. Take that back head up. Yes. And move it closer. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And squeeze. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Five. Imagine there's a pad here, and yeah. you're going to squeeze down. Yeah. You take it on the way, you keep it up this way. You drive down. A little bit lower, right here. Yeah, there we go. Gabriel is from France. I'm going to France on Friday, so that's two days from now. So I need to brush up on my French. So let's see how bad or good I am at French. I did it in school, so give me some common phrases. Um, je m'appelle Rob. Je m'appelle Rob. Tout va bien. Tout va bien. Comment allez-vous? Comment I'm unreal. Okay, more complicated one. Do ni mon on bon patisserie. Yeah. Okay, yo, I'm pretty good. Paris vlogs. Will they happen? Will they not happen? We'll see. All right, legend, bro. Appreciate it. All right, people. So epic workout. Uh, weights bring us together. It's a special bond, and it's always just actually turns into a good lift. So the lads are over here uh, training in SPG. They're doing MMA. Uh, so today's gonna chat or Q and A or video topic. I think we should talk about MMA and yeah. lifting weights. We can't hold our arms like this. Yeah, we're always like this. For people that don't know, Gabe, you've been doing this a while. You, you stayed with the MMA for quite a while. Yeah. Whereas Rob and I have just kind of jumped. Dabble. You've just jumped in for your first time. Yeah, yeah, I've been a year ago, if even. Back in for my first time in like six years. Yeah. So I may as well be used to begin. Yeah, for me, it's been a, we're, we're tight. It's a shit, but yeah. obviously. Gabriel, yeah, you're quite loose and fluid. Yeah. You're speaking French. Faut trouver la balance et l'équilibre entre les deux en fait, entre faire du body et faire sport de combat. Tout dépend aussi des objectifs de compétition. Si on a des compétitions, une, une bath or uh, just uh, yeah. practice for fun. Or, uh, That's well, awesome, man. I love how we've now got multi lingual <laughs> on this channel. It just went up another level. And how we have no idea how to translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna work on it. Blas! Blas! Come on, Blas, my editor. And he always. You're in the bibliothèque. He works so hard. <laughs> 
for some reasons that was, if you're a bodybuilder, you're going to be tight and you're going to new stuff. Yeah. But you will start to so stretch. I found I've started doing Pilates. I've started really? doing Really? I'm doing hot yoga tomorrow. Dude. Yeah, at 6 p.m. Okay, so yoga's like the holding of stretches. You'll yeah. get through that. Then you'll go try Pilates. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone. But honestly, yeah, Pilates and yoga, that's going to help us, I think. That. Do your mobility and balance yeah, today. Yeah. Okay. Because I know I can kind of do it, but then get anxious that I'm. I'm not doing it as fast as I want to be, and then that makes me stick, get tighter and burn more energy than a gas suit. Yeah. So my worst point is is not relaxing and and actually cardio just disappearing out the door. Yeah, and then you're just a meat sack. Yeah, and you, you may as well be literally no matter how big you are. Once you're tired, you're just a target. Yeah, I, I remember when I was doing that same condition with Owen as like a, a video. It's like it's like a cold apartment tour, and you know, returning to MMA. You can see in the video, after a while, he puts me through conditioning and I'm just like limp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm literally just like, you just gas. And like, brain, you just go. Your brain says, your brain goes. Goes. Body goes, nah. Yeah, it's <laughs> so weird. It's a, actually a sensation. Like, it's a weird feeling. Bodybuilding, MMA, uh, to recover, especially about joints. Yeah, uh, It's hard to find a good recovery. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we actually talked about that earlier before. You said your joints were hurting from the excess yeah. extra wrestling you're doing now. So that is a big one. Use your cod liver oil and your glucose. And there you go, Neck the cod liver oil. I don't have a set date for one yet, but I'm gonna be aiming for June. Ideally, I wanna get on this, the undercard. I've got kind of a, a link to getting on the undercard of the YouTube KSI logo rematch. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Count me in, count me in, man. See that, I didn't even flinch. <laughs> I called Face and say who did hit me up and he was like, dude, I'm down for a fight if you want. But I yeah. think he might, by the time I've cut down, I think he might be like two weight classes above me. Oh, okay. Ideally, I don't want to do a catch weight yeah. because I, I, I want to really try as if it's you know proper boxing, make weight, fight someone of a similar level, you know, and do that. Yeah. But if need be, I will fight someone bigger, you know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I want to do it for charity. Yeah, oh, I want to raise nice. money for charity and, and do it that way. If I'm doing it, I want it. I want to cash money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want a Lambo. Yeah, I'm here for charity as well. I promised myself to fight in 2019. Yeah. Uh, and I hope in Japan. You know what I mean? Oh, Seriously. Japan. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just made us look like absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And on like, that note, yeah. Rob and I will leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, last thing before we wrap up this video, would you like to see a YouTube MMA fight? Again, could be for charity, could be for anything. Uh, comment down below. Uh, I think it'd be very interesting, and I'm willing to get knocked the fuck out. Hit me up on my socials, annoy Rob on his socials, bring Gabe into the mix. Yeah. Uh, to it could be me and Rob versus Gabe. That would be, that fair. Would be fair. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just like, yeah, yeah. bring it. So I'm going to link all their channels and their socials in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you tomorrow. Keep it real.